Oh, and John Thompson from the Butcher Board, which is uh, right off the square in downtown McKinney, which is a really action-filled place these oh, it's days. it's great. People yeah. say McKinney, you know, not falling asleep anymore. Not at all. Yeah, yeah. it's a wonderful downtown historic area. So. Yeah, oh, it really is. Yeah. And what are you cooking today? So today I'm working on our restaurant, Butcher Board. We do large roast hot sandwiches. So we're making yeah. porchetta today. Okay. So let's dive right in. This is going to be uh, kind of an Italian style roast. Uh, so what we have right here is a five pound pork belly and we're going to wrap this around a pork tenderloin and then roast oh, it. Oh really? So wow. what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, get a herb and spice rub on there. So Lauren, okay, if you could yeah, help me out here okay, and sprinkle yeah. those herbs on okay. top. This is just going all over the yeah, top? Yeah, just all over it. There yeah. we go. Beautiful. And what, what, what herbs this. are here? Like, what We've would I got do? rosemary, uh, parsley, and sage. Okay. We've got some black pepper, some red pepper, some fennel. We're going to put some salt. And then, wow. of course, some garlic as well. Lots, Lots of garlic. <laughs> kind of smear that all around. Now, we're going to roll our pork tenderloin. You're going to roll a pork tenderloin inside the pork belly. <laughs> of the pork belly. <laughs> and that's why you got the string, I'm assuming, and we're going to that's tie it the all together. That's for, yeah. So if you want to yeah, help here, me I'll out help here, what we're going to oh, do. Oh, you do it a different way. Oh. Is I've got just a little slip knot on here. Yeah. And, and then we're you... just going to tie this down. Okay. Just take you back to your, your Boy Scout place, <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Okay, so, so we'll you're basically right going to tie this here. whole thing up. We're going to tie this whole thing up. And then, nice and tight. does this just go in the oven? And then this Do you have to braise it or anything? No. So, let's pretend it's all tied yeah. at this point. It's going to go into our <laughs> oven <laughs> at wow. 300 degrees mm -hmm. for about an hour and 20 <gasps> minutes or so. That's beautiful. And when it comes out, <laughs> you've got your garlic and herb crusted. Wow. Porchetta. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this right over here to our butcher board, and we're going to slice it up. First thing is take the strings off, right? Yeah, we're going <laughs> to take these strings off as we go down the line right here, but you get this wonderful uh, pork belly that kind of uh, helps keep it all very moist and succulent. And you've got the tenderloin right in the gorgeous. middle. Gorgeous. That looks like something out of so, a magazine. I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Then what we're going to do with this, guys, it's going to go onto our toasted baguette. Mm -hmm. You're going to hide it in a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. You could take that and there. put it on a plate, couldn't yeah. you? You yeah. sure could. Yeah. Um, with this one, you got the pork belly, which is pretty rich. So we would like to put a sweet and tart mm -hmm. apple jalapeno relish on it. Yep. Yeah. And then some peppery greens. We do some arugula, some watercress. Some cabbage, and you have like several different sandwiches, so you can go in there. There's, it's like a like quick service, yes, and, and there's a whole bunch of different sandwiches and, and, and fancy sandwiches like this one. Absolutely, is yeah. it dine in, take out, either? It's both. Okay, uh, yep, absolutely. There you go. There's a picture. Beautiful so place. we do these. We do some house smoked meats. We do some brisket and pulled pork and some other traditional things. But nice. porchetta is one of our kind of signature dishes there. Oh, it smells oh, delicious. We see why. Yeah. <laughs> You'll find this recipe and a link to butcher board on our website. Fox4news.com. John, thank you so much. Thank you.